like a boss. All right, ladies. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than doing it. Mark Rosenfeld videos. I don't know why. I just love it. You know, um, it, it's 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 hand in hand with with Shiro Seven and Mark. I don't know who to pick to be honest with you, but I think Mark wins it to be honest with you. I think Mark tops it. Like, I wish his fans would comment to be honest with you. I wish his fans were as psychotic as as um you know the other channel. Um, but anyways, <laughs> hello Mark. So today we're gonna be talking about Helena Helena Mark. I mean Helena Hart and uh, Mark Rosenfeld. We're gonna be seeing what they have to say about the, what turns me off. What turns me off, okay? Because I'm a man, right? Apparently. Um, and uh, let's find out, okay? And by the way, people, don't forget, okay? Please do not forget to do this, okay? Club uh, now, but I'm only live streaming it, live streaming it once and deleting it because I'm gonna be posting it on my Patreon. As as I, my Patreon is gonna be my book club. So if you guys want to join my book club on Patreon, join my go to my Patreon right now and join because I'm gonna be posting my Robert Green book clubs videos there. But I'm gonna be live streaming it, right, and then deleting it. And then posting it on there. So if you're a freeloader and you don't want to pay for it, then make sure to hit the notification so when I hit the live stream, okay? It's going to be really good, guys. This is an incentive for you guys. And also, a big part of re the reason why I'm doing this, I need to get out of YouTube. I need to I need to establish my platform somewhere else in case my this channel closes. Guys, I could see this channel closing, to be honest with you, anytime. If I'm honest. So I'm doing that just in case, okay? But let's find... Oh, we all know Mark is not being deleted. Uh-uh. Mark, Mark's videos are very advertisement-friendly, so... It's good for him. All right, let's let's expose Mark. And by the way, I have a seminar October 26th and 27th in New York City. Go to the link below. I have a seminar in Europe next year, my European tour. Go to the link below if I'm going to be in your country, okay? All right, let's begin this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They look like a cute couple. They look like a cute couple. Elena and Marky? Oh, it's a beautiful couple. Hey, it's Mark here from me. Hey, Mark. Thank you, yours. I've traveled all the way to Southern California. Yo, I... to spend time with one of my favorite coaches, Helena Hart. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't watched this video yet. <laughs> I know how dicks function, people. Dicks travel miles, okay? I was asking, how the fuck is this nigga fucking traveling the world just to do videos? There's no, there's no fucking way this dude went to fucking Florida just to make a goddamn video. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a cynical, superficial man, okay? I think I'm a, just a cynical, superficial man. Thank you for being here. Thank well, you. thank you for having me, yes. I should say. I'm not gonna lie, they look like a cute couple, man. They're, they're, they're compatible. They, their style of teaching is compatible. They're sweet people. I mean, we all know that sweet people tend to be passive aggressive, but who cares, right? They look like a good couple. Very, it's like, it's like Christian. They look like a Christian couple, to be honest with you. I was gonna say, thank you for coming all the way out here. She's Mark, 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 come home, Mark, come home. That's that, that that's a nigga move. Traveling all the way. Come home, Mark. Come home. Come home. Come home, Mark. He's one of the best feminine energy and empowerment coaches I know, and I've got her in today to talk about. I, I agree. I like Helena Hart. Helena Hart is a um. Her her I confuse her. I confuse her with 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 Everhart with. I don't know. They're two white women. I forgot who their names are. I could just confuse them for some reason. I don't know why. But I th let me check. Is it? Is, I think I made a video about her that I really like. Let me see. Which one was it? Because I confuse her with, with the other lady. Let me see. Exposing Mark. Exposing Shira. Exposing Clayton. Let me see. One second. Because I think I made a video about her. Adrian Everhart. Was that the, good, was that the one that I liked? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what she has to say. I think I conf Adrian. I confuse Adrian and her a lot, man. Oh, I definitely like it when, when when a woman tells me to lean back and relax. Let me see. Oh, Lordy, have, have mercy. Up to him, reach out, and call him to let him know I care. I I thought that if I didn't. Oh, she's different. She's different. She's different. She's different. Okay, okay. All right, she's different. Sorry. 
All right. Because <laughs> Elena, I'm talking about Adrian Everhart. She talks about like feminine energy and she's like, she has that, this quirky vibe that I really like about her. Um, yeah, and, and even in the video, they say I confused it. Yeah, I don't know why, man. It's a, it's a Spanish thing. One thing, the sabotaging thing women do that stops a man being able to come close to them. Helena, what is it? Great question. Yes, this is something we've all struggled with, myself included. So we're just going to jump right in today. The number one thing that sabotages a man's ability to... And by the way, I have all of the links, all of the videos. Subscribe to Mark Rosenfeld. I think he's a nice... I look, I look, I, I clown him a lot, but... At the end of the day, he's trying to help people out, okay? I, I'm not going to clown that, okay? Subscribe to him. He's a, he, I think he has a good heart. No, part, no, heart, no, no pun intended to Helena, too. Subscribe to her, too, okay? get close to you is something we're calling emotional distancing and what that means is basically not being authentic so when what you're feeling on the inside is not matching what you're conveying on the outside with your words and body language a man can feel unsafe to come close to you he can like feel the disconnect and the incon sometimes that creates that sparks insecurity in a guy that makes him like you Oh Lord, I forgot what I was talking to. Jesus Christ, okay. Congruence in your energy and your vibe, and it makes him feel like he can't really trust you on a deep level. The, the, no, the trust part comes with you being in cons <sighs> Let me listen, let me he listen. He senses that you're not feeling safe with yourself or that you don't trust yourself or him to express some of those things going on within you. Yeah, because there's this wall there, right? And if I'm a man, how can I get through how can I trust myself to relax and bond to her when I sense this wall? Exactly. So that wall will make you work to overcome that wall. So sometimes you want to create a fake wall so that he says, oh, no, there's a wall. I got to fight it. Right. And then you you act like, you're, oh, wow, you put down my walls. It was all to increase his attraction. Right. But, you know, Mark doesn't like those kind of games. You know, I mean, I can't say that. The instinct is to put up a wall myself, right? And while emotionally unavailable guys might be okay with this, if you're wanting- Hey, don't call me that, Mark. The fuck? To form that closeness, you want to form that deep connection. It's about taking down the walls. Yeah, I mean, okay, I, I agree. I mean, I, I do talk a lot about, remember that video yesterday I did about the dark side, right? Embracing your dark side is putting down those walls, right? But at the end of the day, though, you still need to create some distance. You still need to give the guy the feeling that you're more of a challenge. And sometimes being a little emotional, unavailable, having almost like a blank slate, having a little bit of indifference, a hint of indifference, causes the guy to project on you his fantasies. You know, like that, that, that when you don't give him something to work with, he'll create it in his head, right? And that'll make him fall in love with you. I mean, I, the truth is, is I don't know... It's, it's sometimes it could be unhealthy or healthy, but the thing is, is that the, the style that he's talking about, it works, but it's like nowadays people are just savages. People are savages, man. This is not how it doesn't, re this reflects the nineties. This is 2017, man. We got Takashi 6 9 out there, man. We got savages, niggas, like. And he's gonna feel safe. He's Australian, that's the thing. It's different in Australia, I think. If to cross that when he feels that authenticity coming from you. Helena, if a woman out there the biggest, the, this, the best form of authenticity is when you're able to embrace your dark side. Authenticity isn't authenticity is embracing your dark side. You know, like 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 Mark, have you embraced your dark side? I know you have a dark side in there, Mark. Oh, we know you have a dark side. Every human has a dark side, right? The best way to be authentic is embracing your dark side to your personality. That will make you authentic and magnetic. Think about think of the most authentic people that you remember. They were mostly flawed and they embraced their flaws. If you like tranny dick, you say you like tranny dick. You don't hide it. You know, if you like getting dick down and dick down, you say you like getting dick down, right? And like it be, people can use that against you. People can say, oh, the Lex likes tranny dick. Because I already said I like tranny dick. I don't like tranny dick. But I'm, it's like, it's kind of like an example. Because if you hide it, then people are going to use it against you. That part is not really integrated with you. But when you embrace it, people are going to say, oh, that's just the lessons. And that makes you unique. As crazy as it is, embracing your truth so that nobody can use it against you is one of the best ways to integrate your dark side. Watching this and you're struggling to express a raw emotion because you are worried about being seen in a certain way. What's some good Don't forget to book a call with him right here. See that? Book a call. Hit him up, man. This is all for this is all to get my my other YouTubers views. To start practicing this and just bringing down the walls and being really real.
Yeah, I love what you said, though, by the way. It's so good because, oh, yeah, if, you, if you're not... Yeah, she, I bet she liked it. ...not doing this in the right way, a man, there might be attraction. He might pursue you or come on strong for a little while, but if he gets the sense that he can't really get to you, like, if he can't see who you really are... Uh, oh, my... Oh, wait. That's when he kind of gives up. No, he don't. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No! Sorry, 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 sorry. <sighs> man, I... I gotta control myself with these videos, man. Oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. It starts to back off, yeah. right? Like, he's just like, oh, I can't even get to her. There's there's nothing. Oh, I can't even get to her. I'm gonna give up. Motherfuckers don't do that shit. Who the fuck does that shit? They don't do that. They Google. They go, they watch my channel. Ugh, Lord have mercy. I, think I so. feel there's something yeah. there. I'm just oh. like, okay, this isn't quite safe. Oh. <laughs> You feel something there? This is not quite safe. What the fuck is this? <laughs> safe? Safe? When is the last time a man I said safe? When is the last time? Oh my god. I'm, 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 I gotta be quiet, man. These people. Unbelievable. Unbe this is why I love this. Right, man. right. So this can right. actually bring a guy closer when done correctly. And the template is really simple. Yeah. It's just first getting in touch with what you're feeling and then expressing it. Very simply keeping it all about yourself and your own experience. So an example would be I feel blank. You know, I'm feeling a little anxious right now. Or, you know, I felt in It's beautiful for your own self. This is this is why my channel is called Mind for Attraction. I teach people how to be mindful, but then I also teach them the dark shit, attraction. Meditate and kill. Meditate and kill. Meditate and attract. Meditate and flick pain. We are dual creatures. None of our emotions are one way. We, are, we feel ambivalent emotions, hate and anger. When you try to act like everything is angelic, that you can't hurt people, that you gotta be nice to people so that you can't hurt, so that you don't hurt them, it, it, you're brushing against your own narcissism because at the end of the day, you will hurt people. It, it, uh, uh, oh my God. Secure at work the other day when I had to give this presentation. And one tip I have that I give to all my clients when they're first starting out with this, because this can be really difficult, like yeah. I still have a hard time with this sometimes, is start by talking about small everyday things that happen to you in baby steps a lot of women take this to mean like talking about the relationship immediately and getting in there and having these deep conversations yeah, all these right? things full on yeah. yeah but that's not where you should start at least not at first i always say something that has nothing to do with him you know how this is unbelievable let me tell you something the number one turn off for guys is when you don't give a guy space simple as that when you don't give a guy space, simple as that. Go ahead and go ahead, go ahead. Don't give a guy space and tell me what happens. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't give a guy space and see what happens. You feel about your plans for the weekend or about the weather or something like oh, that. Oh, so the tennis mm -hmm. or, and, and you're not complaining, you're expressing. Yeah. You're expressing, yeah. you're going, this is what I'm feeling. And this is what I'm feeling. See, yeah, what I'm feeling. it's, it's like, it's like, yeah. they, oh man, Mark is really looking at her. Look, man, it's like you, it's like, it, I just feel like they don't, they don't want to show negative emotion. People, embrace oh. your dark side. Mark, Mark, come home, Mark. Mark, come home. Come home. Come home, Mark. Come home. Come to the dark side, Mark. Come to this side. Not this this side. Come home, Mark. You got to embrace your dark side, man. You trying to tell me that... Let me tell you something. I'm not going to say it. I'm not even going to say it, man. I'm not even going to say it. Ugh. It's also really helpful to, if you can, not refer to his behavior at all. So... An example would be like, I felt insecure or jealous when you looked at that other woman, right? Oh, That's okay. See, they're talking relationships. Okay. That's different. I should maybe I should maybe put that as a thing. They're talking relationships. That's different. That's different. Man, they could be make a beautiful couple. I'm wrong, holding him responsible for your feelings. And a man's just gonna get defensive if he hears something like that. Even if you don't mean it that way, yeah. men can take everything to mean like that they made you feel bad or disappointed, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And it's not about, don't think of it as, well, this means I can't say anything. There's ways to have those chats and that's a topic for a different video. And obviously you have to have your standards met and mm -hmm. that's extremely important. Mm -hmm. What this is about is that self-expression so that the man can see you and feel you and then know it's safe to come to you. Oh my God, what the fuck? What kind of pussies are these people dealing with? Oh no, I feel unsafe about her. Oh no, it's not safe. Oh no. 
Who are these men that they're talking about? Who are these men they're talking about? They must be going to these yoga retreats and getting these ultra spiritual, skinny, that, that, that vegan, drinking, soy boy men. It's incredible, incredible. That wall blocking the way. Yeah, and I just want to add one more thing before we close out. The point of doing this is not. Please hurry up. Make a man do what you want, right? The point of expressing yourself and. You trying to tell me that you don't want control? You see, this is the problem that I have. You, they trying to act like they don't want, they don't have any aggressive impulses to control. You want a man to do what you want, that you want to do. Don't lie to yourself. You want control. You're, you're asserting control in a way that's beautiful and angelic. Don't play that game with people. People can see through that. Embrace your aggression. Embrace your dark side because if you don't, it's gonna come out in passive aggressive ways. It's gonna leak out no matter what. The mask will slip off eventually. Jesus Christ. It's it frustrates me because I know what they're trying to do. They have good intention, but they don't know that eventually those aggressive tendencies inside of them will come out one way or another. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Being authentic is just to see what he does with that information, right? Does he seem to care about your feelings, right? Does he take them into account when he's planning I agree with that. decisions? Or does he dismiss your feelings and he just keeps doing whatever he was doing? So That's true. The point of this is not to like change his behavior, right? The point is just I'm going to express myself because I want a deep... In That's true. I mean, okay, I agree. It's not about changing behavior, but at the end of the day, don't say that you don't want a man to do what you want to do. There are ways to do that. It's, 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 it's part of your dark side. Your dark side wants control. If you, and, if, and if you suppress that, it's going to come out in passive aggressive way no matter what. No matter what. I'm just honest with myself. I embrace it. So that's why I kind of look a little fucked up to some people, right? It's a decent moment. Intimate relationship. I don't want a superficial yeah, relationship. This is a growth experience. Hey, man. You just found your relationship right there at heart. I think Mark is a great man. Look at those muscles. Look at those muscles. Come on, man. It's for you. Oh, oh, look at her. She's looking at him, too. How much more can I express myself? And then once you're doing that, the most open and expressive men will come in. And oh, man. I was going to say... <laughs> Let me not even say it. I was gonna say something bad. I was like, I got, I got my limits, man. Um, look, man, Elena, so she's a sweet lady. I think they should be together, man. I don't, I don't know if she has a husband, but they make a beautiful couple. Um, Mark went all, all the way there. You better go to see him too, Elena. You better go to see him because he wants effort too. Okay, Mark. This is what I would tell you, Mark. Keep the distance. Stop the LOLs and ha ha's because I know you sent them. Um, take around three to three to four hours to respond to the first text and then 10 to 15 minutes three times right keep that distance right and when you're around there be masculine and stuff like that and and you know from time to time pull away once a month pull away a little bit you know create some distance and i could promise you you'll get her i mark all right bro all right guys peace out this is alex from my for attraction la roga i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're gonna be exposing more people this week man i love these videos i forgot how much i love i love them man and go watch mark rosenfeld he's a nice guy all right ladies so this is the course that all of you guys have been asking me for and it's the psychological game of attraction this is pretty much the course that will make any man beg to want to commit with you this is the course that i wish i'll be honest with you, if i was a woman this is the kind of course that i want because it, it, it's it's a course that's specifically geared to help you understand how guys fall in love and how to do it in a systematic way that's almost predictable, right? So let me show you guys how the, this course is, is set up. By the way, there's a 30-day money back guarantee on, on this course. So if you guys don't like it, you guys will get money back. Look, let me show you how it's done, right? So it's split up in a few sections. The first section is the introduction, obviously, uh, how, what to expect from it. After that is I'm giving you an understanding of the psychology, the, the psychology of attraction, right? Because you, you need to understand that dating is a game you need to think strategically that there are certain laws of human nature that you cannot break that and just a few things of why people love each other you know it's very important to, to have a realistic expectation after that we go into the pre we, we go into the three phases of every relationship they and they all go in these three phases and these phases 
could overlap each other at times, right? The first phase is the pre-honeymoon period. It is when you first know the person, or it is when you're becoming acquaintance with the guy, or it is when you guys broke up or and are back t together, or it is when you guys had a long period of you guys not knowing each other, and now you guys want to rekindle things. This works in any point of the relationship that, that you need to spark interest and curiosity. So these videos are specific for that specific to create curiosity how to get to know the guy the right way using your non-verbals how to create a powerful reputation it's it's, it's tr truly powerful stuff after that is a honeymoon period this honeymoon period is what and is how to get from curiosity to interest to creating a deep connection so all of these videos are specifically geared to that not the 30 no 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 these specific videos are there for this phase and this phase is any phase you guys are having a good happy happy moment you guys just got back together and now you get you feel that peak you feel that that happiness that you guys felt that's what this is right so these videos are there for that creating a lonely fantasy the preemptive breakup the triangle of love using words to control his man it's, it's powerful stuff after that is the post honeymoon period and again is is a short list of videos because these videos are there to solidify the connection that you already created so if you're if you just had an incredible moment or you just came out of a vacation with a guy and everything went well you better use this phase because if you don't do this he's going to become disenchanted it's just how it is these are very specific videos and 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 if you and and all you got to do is just say all right where am i I, I tell you where you guys are and you just watch the video. It's pretty much like being coached by me. You got some bonus videos, stop being nice, dealing with the inevitable, how to deal with breakup, how to deal with getting over a dude. This is a, the, the, the how, to, how to overcome manipulation, identifying manipulation, deterring manipulation, defending yourself against manipulation, what to do if you're already in a manipulative relationship and how to avoid them through detachment. It's pretty much an extremely succinct, and laser focused course not one waste of motion that's why i love it and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you guys don't like if you guys don't like it no questions asked people all right and if you guys want to support this channel this is how you support it and um i hope you guys enjoy this all right see you guys inside